Hi, I'm Girolamo Alore and today I am the Shark Investor. So, the topic of today is something that is very common that everybody talks about this. It is the common practice for newbie traders to buy on breakout. Why we should not buy on breakout? Buy on breakout is something that is really simple to understand. The price rise up, break resistance and then it just uh, jump up. This is uh, the opinion that people have about uh, the behavior where the price just break a resistance. But unfortunately, it is not so. The breaking of a resistance just causes an increasing of the supply pressure. So, the breaking of a resistance just moves the price down, making it bouncing back. Because uh, to break a resistance, the price is just following a behavior, it's just making a behavior. And this behavior occurs because there is demand that is rising the price. But going up, going up, we see also the increasing of the strength of position. So, when the price rises up on the top, the exchanges just shows an increasing of the discarding of the securities. So, shorting and discarding and uh, liquidating and so on. And this practice increase, with the price that goes up, this practice increase time by time. So, on the breaking of a resistance, there is a, a massive liquidation of securities. There is a massive trading that comes from the top and they make bounce back the price down. So, when the price break a resistance, it is not a good practice to, to buy on the breakout. Even if there is a rebound to the resistance, this is a wrong practice to, to buy on the breakout. Because when the price moves higher above the resistance, the increasing of the supply pressure move the price down below the resistance. In going down, you get simply that this strength in opposition now declines, decrease very fast. So the price at a certain point stops to decline and the spread of the price candles becomes very small. Then we get that the price moved above the resistance. Above the resistance, you get a very high supply pressure because the composite operator, the, the large interest on the top, just liquidated the large amount of securities and the price bounced back. Bouncing back, the price moved below all the resistance. And going low, you see that the strength in opposition declines very fast. So the price just stopped to decline. And it starts to move in a small range that can be just a few candles long. And these candles becomes very small. The spread of the price candles becomes very small. What happens now? That the remaining demand that was moving the price, there is a just something that uh, is uh, stopping the decline of the price, but later this causes a rebound. The rebound moves the price up again. At this point, we get the chance to sell because we had in advance an increase of the supply. So we get an advance indication of the supply pressure. Then on the rebound, we get a very decreased risk of trading. So even if we make a mistake or not, we can just take a risk on the rebound because the risk of trading is decreased consistently. On the rebound, the price can just start to decline and decline for the longer term. In the first bounce back, we got that the price was pushed back and then the decline was stopped. But in the rebound, that the price is now pushed back because there is an increase of the supply that was visible already in the chart and the price can continue the falling. Of course, you have to understand if you are in the trading area. Of course, you have to understand in what are the market conditions. But you have to consider that when you want to look for a sell, you need to focus on this price behavior. You cannot think to buy on breakout simply because the price is going above the rest. Because this is something that makes you lose more. You have to consider instead that if the price moves above a resistance, it is going to get a high increase on the supply pressure there will be a large liquidation of securities and the price will decline. And with the declining ladder, there will be a rebound and the rebound will offer a chance to sell where the risk of trading is very, very low. So, never buy on breakout because you're going to buy when the price is very high. Instead, you can consider to analyze the market in a different way to understand if you can take a sell trade because the supply pressure has increased. This is the point. So guys, subscribe on my channel, just watch this new series and please, 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 I want to listen to your opinion and your questions on comments. So guys, thank you to listen to my words, thank you to be here and see you next time. Bye bye.